if you asked a random person on the street what was special about the Tyrannosaurus Rex, there's a high chance they would say it is larger and stronger compared to the Spinosaurus. This is largely due to what was shown in the famous movie Jurassic Park 3, which depicted a battle between a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex. Besides this, most people assume that the dinosaurs shown in Jurassic Park actually lived together during the same period, but today we'll tell you the truth about this myth, so stay with us until the end of the video. The truth is that many people believe that the Spinosaurus and T-Rex had epic battles to the death. Now that we have this movie, some might think that the Giganotosaurus was also rumbling with the T-Rex. However, neither of them ever saw the T-Rex as they were separated by millions of years. In reality, the true enemy of T-Rex was not a theropod, but rather a herbivore that to this date is the only known animal to have ever caused damage to a T-Rex. So, what dinosaur are we talking about? It was the Triceratops, and here we'll tell you how a herbivore became the greatest nightmare of the feared Tyrannosaurus Rex. The worst nightmare of the T-Rex? Its name should sound familiar as time goes by. This animal has become an icon thanks to its unique appearance and great size. But ironically, despite having a famous name, it wasn't even initially called Triceratops due to a significant misclassification by paleontologists. First, we must understand that this was a mammal that had a pair of horns on its brow. Its first remains were discovered in the year 1887 in Colorado. Its fossils were sent to the famous paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh, who believed that these horns did not belong to a dinosaur, but to an ancient bison from the Pliocene, unique in both shape and size. So he decided to call it Bison Alticornis. At that time, no one knew about ceratops and dinosaurs, and there wasn't even a concrete discovery about them. But a year after the discovery of the first remains, the brow horns were unearthed. Subsequently, the same paleontologist presented to the world the head, the first dinosaur with horns. During that same year, another monumental event occurred, specifically when a cowboy stumbled upon a monstrous skull protruding from a ravine. Just like other horned dinosaur remains sent to Marsh, he designated them as a new species of dinosaur found. A year after this discovery, nothing really changed until, by pure luck, a well-preserved skull matching the anatomy of one of the so-called new catops was found to gradually piece together the body of the imposing animal. The aim was to have all its horns along with the found parts so that Marsh could recognize that the new catop species and his bison were not just the same animal but a completely new genus of horned dinosaur which he called Triceratops, that is the three-horned face classification and closest relatives. This discovery was an extraordinary event, not only for what it generated in the press, but also for the role it played in the classification of dinosaurs. With the classification of the main group Ceratopsia, it was possible to get closer to relating it to the Triceratops. Within this group, Triceratops is believed to belong to the Ceratopsid family, and more specifically to the group of Triceratops, where it is joined by its closest relative. Two species of Triceratops and their differences. Now, let's talk about the contemporary Taurosaurus. This dino falls outside classification. The remains found of this new dinosaur have shed great light, being a great success thanks to its giant skull and strange horns. Additionally, it helped new formations like Hell Creek to finally be discovered. This also led to the understanding that there were or have been more than one species, and since the 19th century, more than 15 species have been described. However, only two are considered valid today, which are Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porcus. From afar, both dinos might seem absolutely the same. However, they had their differences. Horridus normally had a longer snout along with a shorter nasal horn, whereas Prorsus had a short a snout but a longer nasal horn. These two dinos were very similar in size and technically the largest known specimen nicknamed Big John belonged to a Horridus giving it a slight advantage. Now regarding size this is an aspect we'll address immediately. Body size. 
Both species were imposing and gigantic. An adult Triceratops could easily measure between 8 and 9 meters or 26 to 30 feet in length while weighing an average of 6 to 10 tons. Thus, exceptionally large individuals. These were even larger than the mentioned measurements. They also had an imposing weight of 12 tons, making them heavier than the Tyrannosaurus itself and its contender, the Ceratopsian, one of the largest dinos of all time. To give a small perspective on their incredible weight, the Triceratops would weigh as much as six medium-sized cars or approximately 120 American men. Undoubtedly, this kind of size allowed them to grow, mature, and reproduce with safety and freedom within their environments. Also, Triceratops lived during the dinosaur era and specifically alongside one of the largest theropods we know of. In turn, it had developed some of its powerful defenses, one of which were its strong and particularly thick bones ridiculously thick bones. Many Ceratopsians still had robust constitutions. The Triceratops was particularly robust and had bones that were much thicker than normally seen in dinosaurs. This has been demonstrated when comparing the femur of the Triceratops against a femur belonging to an exceptionally large African elephant. Such robustness gave it a level of protection against injuries, showcasing its incredible genetics but not even the thick bones of elephants came close to surpassing those of the Triceratops, one of the largest skulls ever created. It's quite hard to overlook the giant skull of the Triceratops. This dino had an enormous head that could represent more than a third of the total length of the specimen, with the largest skull recorded measuring 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet in length, making them the largest skulls that any terrestrial animal could have. If you are enjoying the video, support us with your like. This helps us bring more quality content like this. Subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. How did it use its head? The reason why its head was so large was due to an expanded frill at the top of its skull, which probably had a multifunctional role. During their courtship displays in the mating process, it could have been colored. Also, as a means of defense, it could have had enormous horns as a defense against large predators. A curious part of its body called the lamar, a type of special bone known to heal quickly once damaged and has the ability to regrow in a short period. The size of its torso might have also influenced preventing attacks from predators or rivals, which could have acted as a form of intimidation, giant, deadly horns. But if the aforementioned ornament failed, the Triceratops had one more trick up its sleeve to defeat its aggressors, its legendary horns. These weapons need no introduction, as they are the signature of the Triceratops, being a notable characteristic in its genetics. It is greatly attributed to its fierce reputation, and rightly so, considering that the three horns were exceptionally long and pointed, situated above its eyes. Its horns measured up to 3.77 feet or 1.15 meters in length. Also, most paleontologists have reached a consensus that these measures approach the reality of the diameter of its horns. The horns of the Triceratops were covered with keratin sheaths as seen in modern mammals, implying that they were actually even larger during certain periods of the year. Numerous ideas about the function of these horns have been mentioned, but the most popular theory is that they were mainly used to fight T-Rex. The Triceratops led a violent lifestyle. Not everything is clear. There is an intense debate about the aggressiveness of the Triceratops. A typically more accepted hypothesis is that the horns were primarily designed for battle, but not battle against theropods, rather against dinos of its own species. Such a challenge would have been wild, with Triceratops charging at high speeds and fighting with their horns, risking life or death. It is most likely that intertwined fights occurred, disputing mating rights or territory. Studies have found that such combat was the rule, not the exception. Likewise, something curious was found in the fossils of Triceratops skulls, determining that 14% had lesions on the head itself. These coincided with what you would expect from a horn piercing a skull.
even the most famous specimen of the Triceratops, Big John, could not escape the brutal lifestyle these Ceratopsians faced day after day. Its skull had a massive hole in the front, believed to come from a rival, which probably also ended up killing it in battle, until it died from an infection in its wound shortly after having triumphed. Despite being depicted as cold herbivores, the Triceratops could be quite fierce with their horns and along with their strength and size. They were a dominant and tough species in the Cretaceous. The only animal ever confirmed to have fought against the T-Rex now, these dinosaurs generally used their weapons and defenses against their only known, the most feared predator, the Tyrannosaurus rex. At the time when the Tyrant King was the only carnivore big enough to pose a threat to mature Triceratops, we know that predation definitely happened with certain specimens bearing damages on the skull and body. Such marks could not come from a rex tooth. However, unlike what most people probably believe, the battles between these two were not always one-sided. The Triceratops remains the only dinosaur or animal known to have had the capacity to seriously injure a T-Rex thanks to the meticulous study of fossil remains. The clearest case of this is a curious fossil where the extraordinary specimen consisting of a juvenile T-Rex and an adult was found tangled to death with a Triceratops. It is believed that the two killed each other at the same time, but other archaeologists believe they died from external forces. Regardless, they both struck each other violently. Nonetheless, the T-Rex actually has most of the damage. As most of its teeth were broken, the finger and skull found cracked, while the Triceratops had fractures in its jaw with some broken teeth. The Tyrannosaurus was so damaged that it surprised archaeologists. Additionally, some speculate claiming that it was the Triceratops who had been the attacker. Although the nature of the Triceratops is more peaceful and inclined to defense, the debate about who attacked first would be quite interesting. The truth is that this Dino had enough strength, cunning and ability to face the feared T-Rex, reaching the point of being able to take it down. A disturbing mouth. Its own genetics make it even more terrifying when you take a look at its mouth. Now, the Triceratops was a herbivore, so it didn't have monstrous sharp teeth, but it did have a disconcerting number of teeth in general, like many other herbivorous dinosaurs. The teeth were smaller and arranged in its jaw, allowing it to cut through tough vegetation. An adult could have more than 800 teeth, more than 25 times the number of teeth we humans have. The Triceratops also had a beak that helped in its feeding, being useful for shredding its food and tearing leaves when it was about to eat. The most successful dinosaur that ever existed, its strength and power were reflected in its absolute dominance within its ecosystem. This would be the most abundant animal of its time, representing no less than 69% of the total dinosaurs. The population within certain study sites could be lower, where in total the Triceratops represented 40% of all skeletons. Thus, it is considered one of the most common dinosaurs found worldwide, a sign that this species truly flourished during the late Cretaceous. Lastly, the reason why the Triceratops lived so long is that it typically resided in tropical forests that were covered by swamps, lakes and rivers, allowing for a more pleasant abundance of life. So what was the area in which the Triceratops could have lived from 68 to 66 million years ago? There once was an animal that would be feared by the relentless T-Rex, and this was evidently the Triceratops, which during its life was an herbivore but always ready to face predators to defend its territory and its entire life. This is a warrior dinosaur that few talk about, but it truly was one of the most famous during the prehistoric era of the Earth. If you liked this video, support us with your wonderful like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about the prehistoric world. Comment, did you previously know about the Triceratops? Which dinosaur or species do you want us to feature next? We will be reading your comments. See you soon.